Okay, so welcome back again. Um, this is the uh, maze I've done for myself. And like I said, you can spend a lot of time just trying to perfect this. I think what's important is that you have solid colors. So if you're gonna put a white background, or um, just just try to use one color. I don't know why I use white, but uh, it shouldn't make a difference. If you don't want to, just don't color it. Just use one color, one solid color. So it's what this is what it's important right here. I right want now. to leave spaces for my character to walk around. This might be a little too tight, so. I don't know. This is, you know, I tried to imitate what we first saw, that maze. Um, so that way uh, we can have our character walk around this, our sprite walk around this freely uh, without too much interruptions. Because what we're going to do in our another part is teach it not to go through these walls. And so that will be the wall sensing part, the wall sensing tutorial when we get to that. And so you want to leave enough space. That way, um, yeah, you can just, you know, just go walk right through it. This is going to be a tight squeeze right here. So we might have to fix this. I don't know. I might have to delete it. We'll see when we get there. Um, did you see how the cat disappeared back there? That's usually an issue. Um, don't worry about it. We'll fix it. There's a quick way of fixing it. I'll, um, I'll tell you how to do it. Um, um, let's not do that right now. So uh, let's go back to the maze want to make sure that you have selected it and it t shows you when you have selected it with a blue or highlight like this and the little information here um, you can call this uh, you can call this the maze or just label it you don't have to though you can just leave it like that but I'm just gonna label it uh, I'm gonna set it back and uh, this is the cat uh, over here if you come over here and you clicked on the on the eye um, you want to make sure that you click this right now um, if not, your, clock, your cat is going to start flipping upside down uh, with the head down and the feet up. and It's going to start doing funny things. So you can name your cat. Um, how would you name your cat? Do you have a cat at home? Uh, my cat, its name is Officer Motorcycle. Uh, Jixer. I don't know how to spell Jixer though. Uh, I'll name you like that. I'm going to start calling, calling my cat Jixer. Um, you can call it scratch, you can call it that, whatever. But once you label it, you see how the name shows down here at the bottom? Um, that way you know that you are working on these. So if, let's say you want to work on the maze and you, you're not looking at, you're not seeing the maze here. The reason why is because you haven't highlighted it. You got to be able to highlight, highlight it like this. And it's going to become important because when you are in scripts, you're not looking at the actual costume. Um, so if you highlight it like this, you know there's no difference here because you're not on the costume tab where it tells you it shows you what you have highlighted so it's gonna be tricky when you're here because you might wanna code the cat code Jixer and you think you're coding Jixer but you're in the maze and you're telling the maze to move left and right um, and when you start moving left and right with your keyboard your maze starts moving left and right so that becomes a problem So just make sure that you highlight what you're moving or coding um, so um, I think my maze is done I don't know how yours look um, if you want me to check it make sure that you uh, you let me know and by now you should have uh, at least uh, told me what your user your cat username is so from here on now we are gonna come back to the cat and we're gonna make the cat show up if your cat has disappeared we're gonna teach it to always sit on top and we're gonna teach it to move I have two costumes so that way it looks like it moves. I may want to add more, but maybe not. I just don't want to complicate this tutorial for you. Um, want to make it as easy as possible. So for homework, let's see. If your cat hid, can you make that cat come up to the top? Let's see, can you, can you do that? Okay, uh, so make sure you save every time. It does save automatically, but be in the habit of saving everything, every time, uh, no matter what. Name it, I'm gonna name my one, I'm gonna name it uh, maze ing tutorial I don't know I might be overdoing it anyway um, let's make sure it's saved see how it says save don't need to, uh, to manually do it you click on save now it just does it for you all right so next part is to teach the cat to move at the moment my cat is hidden behind the maze if yours have if yours did that can you make it come to the top um, I'm going to show you how to do that if you, if you cannot do it. Alright, see you next time.